so guys our hair grows mostly every day some hair grows faster than the other depending on your genetics your age and all the matters in between but what your hair needs in order for you to retain the length that you are growing every day is for you to moisturize and hydrate your hair your hair needs hydration it needs water in order to increase elasticity in order to increase the strength of your hair and retain that length that you are growing so this cream will help you stop breakage okay hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is your girl Rama and I am going to keep this video as short as possible for you guys and we are creating this hair moisturizer today and I'm saying moisturizer because your hair needs hydration in its water and just oils in your hair are not gonna cut it if you're looking to retain the length so let's get straight to that video i am going to be using flaxseed as you guys can see i'm using two a little bit like less than a cup and then i'm just adding water this tea water and then you're just gonna boil that i am using fresh rosemary today because i just want that because i want all the benefit all the juice all the effect of rosemary in that product that we are making today this is the flaxseed I've already boiled all you need to do now is just gonna drain that and get all the gel out of this flax flexi flaxy gel <laughs> seed we're gonna get the gel out and then we are going to proceed into blending our rosemary with water So it is time to blend our rosemary and I'm just gonna put it in my little tiny blender here I'm trying to cut down on the time so I add some water about half of that cup and then I am going to go ahead and blend this and then I'm gonna come back so we can put all the ingredients together so now I did transfer my flaxseed gel into my uh, into a bowl and I am going to add my aloe vera gel I add about three tablespoon of aloe vera gel and then I am going to drain that rosemary that I just blended I am going to drain that and add that rosemary to the rest of the stuff just in a moment here and you guys can see here my water content for this gel I mean for this uh, cream that I am making is very high so the water content is very very high because I want hydration for this cream it has to be very high in water so as you can see here we have the flaxy gel we have the aloe vera gel and now we're gonna add the rosemary and what I'm going to do is just mix everything together and you can see how much of the water content that I am using because that's just how I want this this cream to be is very high in water. Okay guys, so we're gonna proceed with our oil content. I am using an emulsifier today because of the high water content again. And the one that I'm using today is BTMS 25. You can use the emulsifier of your choice It'll let you know that BTMS 25 is very hard and very difficult to melt so you got to be patient with it so I'm adding avocado oil and I'm going to add some olive oil I am going to add shea butter a little bit of shea butter a little bit of mango butter and also 
a little bit of castor oil and I am going to take this oil content into a double boiler method and I am doing this off camera because I don't want this video to be too long but I am I'm used I used the double boiler method to melt all these oils together the double belt boiling method is when you boil in water on the bottom like on a pan and then you place something on inside of that boiling water to be melting. That's what I use to melt these oils together. So my oil is pretty much ready and I am going to go ahead and combine it with my uh, other ingredients that I mixed together earlier. And I am using my hand mixer here to just blend everything together. So after I finish mixing all these things together, as you can see, it's still very liquidish. So what I did is I went and refrigerate this for one hour. So I, not the freezer, I put it in the refrigerator, I mean, for 30 minutes, not one hour, for 30 minutes. And then 30 minutes later, I took it out and now I'm about to add my natural preservative. And because I am going to leave the name of this preservative in the description box but you want to use a preservative for this because of the water content and you do not want this to go bad while you are using it so I'm using some vitamin E as well and I am going to go ahead and I'm also using an essential oil cedar wood in my case here you can use any other uh, oil that you want that is good for hair growing and uh, just your choice you can just use I'm not using any more rosemary because I use fresh rosemary in this mix mixture here in this cream and it's very strong it just smells very very rosemary right now so yes after that you just mix it all together and you just you can get your hand mixer again and just mix 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 so guys, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel. It is a great way for me to see that you are supporting me and help my channel grow. So please go ahead and subscribe. Click on that subscribe button. Click on that notification button as well so that you do not make more videos from me. In this channel, I do DIYs video, give you tips on how to grow healthy, long hair, and also how to have beautiful skin. So yeah, join the family. So after all is done, this is the consistency pretty much is very liquidish, it's not like a thick cream. But let you know, this will thicken up like the next day or so, it will thicken up because of the emulsifier that we use. So, you just need to find yourself a container and put this in a container and it is ready to use. Guys, you need this to retain length, you need this cream. So go ahead and formulate this cream and see how amazing the result are going to, is going to work. If you want to stop breakage and start seeing considerate hair growth and you want to see length while you're trying to grow your hair you need to make this cream it will take you a few bucks to go get all these things most of them you will find on Amazon make your own DIY stuff and get your own things at your local grocery store come back give yourself a little time to make something that will work for you you can moisturize your hair every day or every other day depending on your climate. If you live in a dry climate, you want to moisturize and hydrate your hair as more often as you can as possible. So 
if you have long hair thick hair whatever you do want to work in sections so that you make sure that most of your hair your ends are saturated and as you can see the amount of uh, the cream that I am I'm applying in this amount of hair it is up to you you don't have to put this much but my hair my baby's hair is about to be put in a protective style and it's going to be a few weeks before I get to it again so I want to make sure it is nicely moisturized so guys that is it for today's video I really hope that you will do this and benefit from it and I really hope that you learned something from this video. If you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your long loved ones and your friends. Please don't forget to hit on that subscribe button and join the family and support my channel. I will see you guys on my next video. I really appreciate it. Thank you.